considering buying or wearing a postpartum recovery belt, AKA belly band, belly belt, recovery belt, Ben Kung wrap, belly wrap, just to name a few. If you're wondering if you should use one, when to wear one, how to use it properly, and if these belts actually do what they say they do, then keep watching because we're diving into all things postpartum recovery belts today. the Strong Mom Channel Moms. My name is Denise, personal trainer and holistic nutritionist for moms. Today we're talking about belly wraps because you guys have been asking me so many questions about them. And there is no shortage of belly wraps on the market. But do they actually do what they say they do? I think not. So belly binding is actually an ancient practice and it is involved in mother roasting. And mother roasting is where a bunch of women will take care of a new mom and provide her with, you know, nice warm food, comforting food and herbal teas and herbal baths and massages. And hold up, just wait a minute. How come we don't get this kind of new mom treatment these days? Anyway. Onto it. And part of mother roasting involved wrapping a mom's abdomen uh, after she gave birth. And this wrapping was said to seal up the openness of the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual uh, open gateways after having a baby. So somewhere between then and now, we totally turned belly binding into a caring for a mom, into a way to get her to get rid of her belly and all evidence that she's had a baby. So let's talk about these wraps and what they actually do for you. So I used a wrap after my firstborn and this is just one that I've used. I don't, you know, promote it. It is just one that I had hanging out here. I'm using it for visual purposes in today's video. And what wraps actually do is to support us in our midsection while we are doing the work that we need to do to heal our muscles and our bodies from the inside. So because our muscles have been stretched out to the max, right? Our bellies have expanded so much. These wraps may help to support uh, the abdominal muscles and the deep core muscles after giving birth. They might provide a bit of compression while our uterus shrinks down to its normal size. But we don't really need a band to do that because our body does it on its own the first six to eight weeks postpartum anyway. You may want to wear a wrap if you just feel like you need some support um, around your hips, maybe your pelvis, your low back. If you're feeling any pain or discomfort, a wrap might actually help you out. So when do you wear a wrap? You can wear a wrap all day long as long as you're feeling comfortable wearing it. Of course, you're not going to sleep with it. You are not going to shower with it and you wear it underneath your clothes. If it feels too tight or if it's restrictive or if you're having a hard time breathing or if it's feeling not so nice rubbing against your C-section scar, then take it off. Also, if you feel any downward pressure happening in your vaginal area, or maybe it feels like a bulging sensation, then take it off as well. It might be that you have wrapped it too tightly. Okay, so let's talk about the rules and how to wrap. So first things first, we want to wrap our hips. We wanna get our hips involved in the wrap as well. So I'm gonna place my wrap on my hips and over my hips and here I go. So notice how my wrap isn't like way up here. Okay, I don't need it to be that high. I need it to be hips and up. The next thing is we want to wrap in an upward motion. We don't want to be wrapping downward. And the reason is because we don't want to be putting downward pressure on our pelvic floor muscles. Same thing with how tight you wrap. You don't want to be cinching your waist and messing with the abdominal uh, pressure system that we have. Because what happens is when you put too much pressure in here, it pushes it all downward. So you may have done enough pushing during labor and delivery. Also in pregnancy, all that heavy baby was pushing down on our pelvic floor, which is fine. Our body's meant for that in pregnancy. It's not meant to do it afterwards with things such as belly binders and stuff. So we want to just have a gentle drawing up without you know, that's my cinch sound. We don't want to be cinching our belly in. It just should feel a nice support. Contrary to what some of these products actually claim they do, here is what belly wraps do not do. Belly wraps will not 
help you lose weight. They will not affect the shape of your body. They will not put curves in the places where you want curves and take away the curves in the places you want the curves taken away. They just don't do that. The only thing that's going to do that is exercise and good nutrition. They will not increase your metabolism and they will not magically get rid of loose skin. Belly wraps will not help you to build and strengthen abdominal muscles. They will help to support and to stabilize any kind of muscle weakness that you might feel. Belly bands won't make diastasis recti go away and they won't make you close up the gap. And while we're here talking about diastasis, let me just get on my soapbox here for a moment. We know that we need to load up this um, linea alba. That's the connective tissue that runs between the right and left recti abdominal uh, muscles. Now, if we are wearing a belly binder all day long, then what's happening is these are hindering our natural movements. It's hindering our muscles to actually work the way that they are supposed to. In effect, making us support on these and is slowing down our healing. Furthermore, it's within the first eight weeks that you want to use one of these belly recovery belts. Anything after eight weeks, you're just wasting your money. And the reason is because it's within the first eight weeks that your body is naturally healing, that your muscles are going to their natural state. Anything after eight weeks is you're just wearing it for no reason. And it's not gonna do much other than support you if you are you know, feeling pain or discomfort um, in your hips or your low back. They should not be used alone, but instead in conjunction with the right abdominal strengthening and retraining exercises after having a baby. And the reason is because belts alone, they don't encourage your muscles to work or to engage. So you have to do that mind muscle connection work on your own. So some of these core exercises that I'm talking about can be found in these two videos. So activating your deep core, your transverse abdominis, as well as your pelvic floor. So while you're wearing your belly wrap, you could be doing these two videos as well. I'll put the links down below. Make sure to get clearance from your doctor before wearing one of these um, things like preeclampsia or having an infection with your C-section scar are a couple of things where doctors will probably uh, discourage you from wearing one. So if you're here because you're hoping that I was gonna tell you these things are the magic potion, just joking. You thought I was gonna tell you that yes, they make your tummy flat and they will cinch it up and get rid of the skin and all of the rest of it. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but they won't do that. And there's not a product that you can buy on the shelf or online that will help you do that. However, don't be discouraged because I have the answer for you and it is inside my tummy fix program. Now inside my tummy fix program, I show you what to do and lead you through all the exercises to get a flatter tummy to reduce your mommy tummy and get rid of diastasis recti. And these are the right corrective exercises and the right nutrition. You are going to do this and it is within you. It is not <laughs> within a packaged product. So if you're wondering, what is my tummy fix program all about? What does it look like? What are the exercises? What do you need to do? Then come and join me inside my tummy fix workshop. It is a free five day workshop where I'm going to teach you what you need to do to get a flatter belly after baby. So come and join us. I'm putting the link down below. I run this free workshop inside my private strong mom community, Facebook group every eight, uh, six to eight weeks. So chances are you click the link, you'll be registered for the next upcoming one. I can't wait to see you there. Mamas, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to comment below. I love to know where you guys are watching from and also give me uh, your questions. This video was made because you guys have kept asking me about these wraps. So uh, ask me your questions and chances are I'll make you a video on that topic. I will see you in the next one.